we go, just getting in. Um, right, let's get going, warming up. So today's session we're doing a little bit of Tabata training, which is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds resting, just to mix it up a little bit, and rolling the shoulders. We're not going to be doing any cardio exercises, but we're doing it with our Pilates exercises. Nice, and arms out to the side. Let's rotate. So I was saying, Felix, that on the 31st, on Wednesday, it's been one year since I've been doing the Pilates online. So it's a little bit of a celebration this week. And Nancy, you've been here for a lot of it. Laura, you've been here for most of it. Felix, you are the OG, man. Felix is captain of the A-team. He's I'm been here throughout. <laughs> Apparently, I mustn't say OG. I think I'm too old. <laughs> right, rolling the shoulders. Very nice. Stand your feet a little bit apart, knees slightly bent, and we're going to reach over. Slide your hand down your thigh and reach. And let's change sides. Sliding down and reach, stretching over. Good. Let's do two more to each side. Stretching over and reach. And down. Getting a lovely stretch on your side. Last one on each side. Reach. And last time over getting a lovely stretch good now from here we're going to reach forward into our flat back position stretching the hands pull the belly button in away from the floor and then folding down to the floor soften the knees breathing out to come up pull your belly button in towards your spine tucking your pelvis under coming all the way up take your arms up above your head and reach forward as you breathe out Stretching forward, nice flat back, stretch those legs, and folding down to the floor, and curling up nice and slowly, tucking your belly button in, curling up one vertebra at a time, shoulders slide down and back, head's the last thing, reach the arms up above your head, and breathing out for the last time, pull the tummy away from the floor, stretch those arms, and folding down and curling up one vertebra at a time all the way now let's just do a normal roll down breathing in and out pull the belly button in towards your spine tucking your chin down relax the arms relax the head rolling down soften the knees and from here you're going to walk out into a plank Shoulders directly over your hands. If you need to, from here, go onto your knees, you can. And we're going to take your bottom towards your heel and breathing out to come back. Shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Bottom to heel and back. Nice. You can do this on your knees. Bum to heels and back into a plank. Good. Let's go for four more. And breathing out as you come back. Three, tummy pulled in all the time, shoulders down and back, squeeze your bottom. Two, very nice, and last one, lovely, come up into a dog, downward dog, tummy pulled in, let's pedal the feet, you're going to alternate feet, bending and stretching, drop one heel to the floor and the other, and change. Stick your chest between your shoulders, tummy pulled in for five, four more, tummy pulled in all the way, three, two, and one, very nice. From here, we're going to go back into a plank from a downward dog, but I want you to think of rippling, rolling through your body, so you're almost thinking of doing like a little wave, you're going to roll through your spine. So from here, it's a small movement. You're going to think of tucking your hips under, rolling through to come forward onto your hands, shoulders down and back, and back into a downward dog. And breathing out, you're going to pull your belly button in, rippling through the spine. Nice, so it's like a little wave that goes through your back. And stretch, breathing out. Rolling through, shoulder blades pulled down and back. And back, let's do two more. Rolling through your spine, a little ripple. Beautiful, downward dog, stick that bum into the air. Last time. And dropping the knees down onto 
the floor. Let's go into a child's pose. Push the palms of your hands into the floor. Really try and stretch that low back. Beautiful. Let's put your left, your right leg in front of you. You have your right, make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Hands on the floor on the inside. And from here, you slide that back knee back. And we're going to roll the hips side to side. So you're getting a nice stretch in your back hip flexor and in the front glute. That's it. And then from here, stretching back. Straightening that front knee. Try and reach it back as much as you can. And coming forward. And we're going to go through quite smoothly. Make sure you're moving smoothly. There's no dramatic pause. And back. Think of like sliding and gliding the tissues. And forward. Nice. One more. Reaching back. Straight leg. And forward. That's lovely. Let's change sides. Left leg in front. Make sure your knee is directly over your ankle. Hands on the floor. And slide that back leg back. And let's roll the hips side to side. Very nice. Make sure you're getting a nice, it's a small movement this, but it just helps loosen up the hip capsule. Now from here, stick your bottom arm behind you. Try and have a flat back. Straighten that knee. If you need to come up to get your knee straight, you can. And then going forward. Let's squeeze back. Try and stretch out that hamstring. And coming forward. Make sure you get this knee straight. You want to make sure it's dead straight, even if you need to come up. Nice, we've got two more. Stretching back and coming forward. Last one, very good. Stretch and forward. Let's step ourselves back into a plank, a high plank. If you need to plank on your knees, you absolutely can. Otherwise, we're on our toes. Make sure your shoulder blades are pulled down and back. Your hands are directly under your shoulders. And we're going to lift one leg up. And down. And down. If you're on your knees, you're just going to straighten one leg. And down. Nice. We're going for ten. Five. Tummy pulled in. Four. Three. Two. One. Beautiful. Come back into a downward dog. Really stretch. And we're going to walk your hands back towards your feet. Now from here, we're going to stay down there. Soften your knees. You're going to take your right arm, reach it up to the ceiling, and your left leg will bend as we stretch it. Straighten the leg, put both hands down. Let's turn it the other way. Left hand up, your right knee will bend, and turn in that thoracic spine. And down. Try and look at your hand. Right hand, stretch. Get a lovely rotation. Beautiful. And down. Left hand. Right knee. Breathing out as you twist. Relax the head in between. One more each side. Right hand. Left knee. Stretching up. And down. Last time. Very nice. And soften the knees. Curling up. One vertebra at a time. Rolling from the spine, shoulders down and back. Very nice. We're going to start our Tabata session. We've got two exercises. We're going to start just with a straight squat. For 20 seconds, make sure your knees stay facing forward. And then we're going to go into a mountain climber. Knees pulled in. You can do it at whatever pace you want. You've got to keep going for 20 seconds. We're going to do that twice. Okay, so let's start in three, two, one. Let's go. We're going to squat. Down and up. Squeeze your bottom as you come up. <sighs> Breathing out, pull your belly button in towards your spine. Squeeze. Down and up. Lovely. Make sure as you squat, your weight goes back through your heels. Good. Let's rest for 10 seconds. Down onto the floor. We're going to go into our mountain climbers. In five, three, two, one, let's go. Make sure you breathe out as you pull that knee in. Your stomach is pulled away from the floor. You can speed it up or go slow. As long as your stomach is pulled in. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one, very nice. Come and 
stand up, we're going straight back into our squat. Let's go in three, two, one. Tummy pulled in, squeeze everything as you come up. Make sure your weight goes back through your heels. So it's like you're sitting on a toilet, reaching back. Knees stay facing forward, don't let them roll in. We've got five seconds. We're gonna do this circuit three times and we change the exercises. Last one, very nice, come down onto the floor, mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Make sure your belly button is pulled in. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Shoulders down and back. You can go as fast as you want. We've got eight seconds. Keep your form. Three, two, one. Very nice, come and stand up. Last round, then we're gonna change the exercises. Let's go in three, two, one. Squatting down and up. Make sure shoulders down and back, tummy pulled in. Weight through your heels, lovely. By changing quickly through exercises, it brings up your, your heart rate. Five seconds. Two, one, very nice. Drop to the floor, last set of mountain climbers. In three, two, one, let's go. As you breathe out, you pull your knee in. Tummy pulled in away from the floor. Shoulders down the back. Nice flat back. Nice. We've got five. Three, two, one. Come and stand up. Next 20 seconds, we're going to do lunges, alternating sides. Stepping back. We're going in three, two, one. Let's go. Shoulders down, tummy in. Make it a nice wide lunge. So there's not pressure through your knee. So when you're here, your knee should be over your ankle. Nice. Five. Three. Two. One. Very good. Next exercise, hands behind your head. Lifting up your knee, twist to your knee. We're going to go in three, two, one. Let's go. Make sure your knee is coming up straight. And you twist so from the side. And twist, tummy pulled in. It's a little oblique twist. So keep those abs in. Work that stomach muscle. Very nice. 10 seconds to rest, we're going back into lunges. Let's go in three, two, one. Shoulders down and back, tummy in. Make sure you drop down in the middle. You're not going forward. Beautiful, we've got one more round after this. Then we change exercises. Tummy pulled in. Nice, three, two, one. Very good, hands behind your head. Stomach pulled in. And we're gonna twist. Make sure you breathe out as you lift that knee. And you twist and using your obliques. Keep nice strong balance. Squeeze. We've got 10 seconds. Make sure you breathe out as you twist. Three, two, one. Very nice. 10 seconds to rest, then we're going back to our lunges. In five, three, two, one. Let's go. Tummy in, shoulders down, lunging back. Make sure your weight goes down through the middle. Your weight is down through the middle. Your knees are protected. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out. Squeeze those shoulder blades down your back. Great posture, everyone. Nice. And relax. Last set coming up. Hands behind your head. We're going to go to our knee lift and twist. In three, two, one. Tummy in. Breathe out as you twist. Really think of it as an oblique twist. So you want to work those obliques. If you were lying down, we'd be doing a sprinter's crunch. Nice, we've got five. Three, two, one. Very good. Our next round coming onto the floor. We're going to be in a plank or a half plank. And you're going to tap one arm behind the back. So come 
coming into a plank. Let's go in three, two, one. Nice plank on your knees. Tap behind and down. Nice. Squeeze. Let's go. We've got 10 more seconds. Tummy pulled in. Shoulders pulled down and back. Three, two, one. Very nice. Lying on your back. We're going to go straight into oblique twists. Lying down. So, hands behind your head. Legs up. We're going to go in five seconds. Opposite shoulder to knee. Let's go. Make sure your belly button is pulled into your spine. So you're not arching your back. Lift your tailbone. Nice work. We've got 10 seconds. Then we're rolling back over. Five. Breathing out as you twist. Two. One. 10 seconds to change position. Back into that plank. We're going to tap hand behind your back. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. Make sure your shoulders are down and back. You're holding that perfect plank. Squeeze your bottom. Try and have your elbows nice and close. 10 seconds. Good. Five, three, two, one. One, very nice, lying on your back. We've got one more round after this. And then we can have some water. Rolling back, hands behind your head. Let's go in three, two, one. Chin on your chest, breathing out to twist. Straighten those legs. Keep your back squashed to the floor. Lift the tailbone. Squeeze. We've got 10 seconds. Make sure your legs aren't so high, but they're not low enough to arch your back. Three, two, one, rolling over, last set. This round is a killer, bombs. In a plank, let's go, last time. In five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Tummy pulled in, 20 seconds. Squeeze your bottom. Ten. Tummy in all the time. Three, two, one. Ten seconds. Come lie on your back. Oblique twists. We're nearly there. Legs in tabletop. Hands behind your head. Breathing out. Chin on your chest. And let's go. Twisting. Opposite shoulder to knee. Breathing out as you twist. Your stomach stays pulled in. Your lumbar spine is squashed to the floor. We've got five, three, two, one. And relax, well done. Hug your knees into your chest. Very nice, grab a sip of water. That was a nice little cardio burn. I don't know about you, I'm out of breath. Good, have a sip of water, then we're gonna grab your band. Right, so grabbing your band, we're going to go, can you see me? I'm going to lower my screen slightly here. There we go. Okay, that's better. Right, putting the band around your knees. These exercises now, we're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds. They are good old standard exercises for our glutes. No surprises. So, I'm lying on my left side. You can start whichever side you want. We're going to do both. Knees in front of your hips. So, bend your knees up to 90 degrees. Hips at 90 degrees. We're going to lift the feet. And we're going to do 45 seconds of the clam. Okay, we're going to go in three, two, one. Tummy pulled in. Make sure your feet stay off the floor. And your hips stay facing forward. So, don't let your hips roll back. You can rest your head down. <sighs> Breathing out as you open and close. Tummy pulled in. Squeeze. <sighs> nice. Make sure you're controlling this. So you're really squeezing from your glutes, squeezing from your tummy. We've got 10 seconds more. <sighs> Good. And squeeze. 
five, three, two, one. Very nice. 15 seconds to rest. We're going to stay here and going to go straight into our fire hydrant in five, four, two, one. Tummy pulled in, lifting up that leg. Fire hydrant. Beautiful. Again, keep those hips facing forward. You're literally just working from the glute. Tummy pulled in towards your spine. Even in this position, think of putting your shoulder blades down and back. Nice. I can feel my butt starting to work. Squeeze. Tummy in. Very good. And squeeze. Woo. We've got 15 seconds. Is that possible? Nice. Tummy pulled in. Let's go for it. Five. Three. Two. One. Whew. Very good. Keep that underneath leg there. Straighten out your top leg. And from here, we're going to lift that leg up and down. If you can, turn your foot down towards the floor and let's go in three, two, one. <sighs> Lifting that leg up and down. Remember from here, keep your tummy pulled in and I don't want your waist moving. So I don't want to see this with your body moving because that's just your waist. You want to keep dead still in your waist. Tummy pulled in. Try and think of sliding a hand under your stomach and making sure it doesn't move or get squashed. So it's literally from the hip abductors. Tummy in, we're nearly there. We've got 15 seconds. Then we're going onto our hands and knees. Nice. In five, three, two, one. Well done. Come onto your hands and knees. We're carrying on with butt. So we're doing a little butt camp. Onto your hands and knees. Back nice and flat. Keep the band around and we're going to go straight into donkey kick. So flat back, shoulders down and back and you're going to kick your foot up to the ceiling. But make sure that you're not arching that back. Let's go. Shoulders pulled down and back. Tummy pulled in away from your spine. And you're kicking that foot up towards the ceiling but you don't want to arch. So your stomach pulls in even tighter as you're pushing up. And squeeze. We're just working our butt. This is a good old butt camp. We've got 20 seconds left. Keep that form. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you lift. Nice. We've got 10. Squeeze. Pushing up. Whew. Five. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Next exercise. Last one on this side. We're going to do the rotation with the hips. So we're basically going fire hydrant back into donkey kick and round. So we're doing this. So it's out to the side, round and down. Okay, let's go. Again, still you want to keep your back nice and flat. All the movement happens at the hip. So we're kind of doing a little circle with that band. Woo! I can feel it. 25 seconds. Keep it up. Your supporting leg starts to burn. So don't be worried if you're feeling the other side. 15 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Good job. Shoulders down and back. Try and keep your head in line with your spine. Five. Three. Two. One. Well done. Come back into a child's pose. Very nice. Right, in between going to the other side, because if we go straight onto the other side, we've worked both glutes. We're going to lie on our back and do some sit-ups. You can keep the band around your knees, lying flat, hands either behind your head or by your side. And we're going to go for 45 seconds, coming all the way up and curving down. Hands by your side if you need, curling through your spine. You can also just do a stomach crunch. If you can't come up all the way, as you breathe out, you pull your belly button in, you're rounding up and curling down. Breathing out to lift, all the way down. As you breathe out, you pull your belly button in 
and you squeeze. Very nice. From here, lifting your legs up into tabletop. Keep the band. We're going to tap, do leg swaps. Breathing out as you change. The band just gives that little bit of resistance. Make sure you can still keep your back squashed to the floor. If you feel your back arching, either take the band off or just take your legs less. The hinging comes from the hip. Tummy pulled in, lift your tailbone. We've got 15 seconds. Squeeze, that's awesome. Breathing out as you change. For 10, lift that tailbone. Nice, three, two, one. Well done, come and lie on your other side. So I'm gonna be on my right side. We're gonna go back into our boot camp. We're starting with our clam. So from here, lifting your feet off the ground, keep the band around your knees. And let's go, lifting up and down. Tummy pulled in, so think of canaping. Really pull that belly button towards your spine. If you're not sure if you're doing it right, if your hand is on your hip bone and you put your fingers sort of just in front of your hip bone, you should feel those muscles tighten. So that's where your core muscles, you can feel them. And squeeze. Keep your hips facing forward. Very nice. Squeeze, we've got 20 seconds. Lovely, so place your hand on top of your hip bone and your fingers come round to the front. And you should feel those muscles tighten. That's it. Especially as you breathe out, they squeeze. For five, three, two, one, very nice. Let's rest for 15. We're going to go into the fire hydrant. In five seconds, tummy pulled in. Three, two, one, let's go. Up and down. Try and make sure that your knee and your foot are in one line. They're parallel to the floor. Your hips stay facing forward. Nice, and squeeze. Very good. After this, we're going to go into our arms and do an arm camp. Working the whole body today. Getting the heart firing. Building some muscle tone in the glutes, the upper body, the abs. Very nice. We've got five seconds. Tummy in. Three, two, one. Very nice. Take your top leg and straighten it out. Pull the band up if you need. So my top leg is in line with my body. The underneath leg stays where it is. Turn that foot down towards the ground. Lengthen your waist, tummy in and let's go. Up and down. Tummy pulled in, squeeze. Make sure it's not just your waist moving. You wanna make sure the movement comes from below your hip bone. Coming from the glutes. Breathing out as you lift. Awesome job, pull the belly button in, squeeze. 20 seconds left. Turn that foot down towards the floor so it encourages this sort of saddlebag area. And squeeze. Nice. 10. Woo! After this we're going onto our knees. Three, two, one. Very good, come onto all fours. We're gonna do our donkey kick and then go into the hip circles. Right, so from here, make sure on your knees, your shoulders are directly over your hands. Your back is nice and flat, you pull your abs in away from the floor. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, donkey kick, foot up to the ceiling. In this, making sure you're not arching your back, you keep your back nice and still. Breathing out as you squeeze that foot up. That's it, pull your stomach in away from the floor. Shoulder blades down and back. And squeeze. Beautiful. Tummy pulled in, shoulder blades down your back. Nice work everyone, we've got 10 seconds, squeeze. As you push that foot up, think of pulling your belly button in towards your spine. 
So you don't arch your back. Three, two, and one. Very nice. 15 seconds to rest. The next one is the hip circles. So you basically you're going to go five hydrant, donkey kick, and down. You take that leg all the way around. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. Make sure your stomach stays connected the whole time. I'm only moving my hip. My back doesn't move. My shoulder blades are pulled down and back. Squeeze. Nice. Keep your form. You'll find your supporting leg is starting to burn. That's awesome. We've got 20 seconds left. Tummy pulled in, keep squeezing. Nice. 10. Whew. 3, 2, 1. Well done. Come back into child pose. Push the palms of your hands into the floor. Stretch those glutes in the back. Very nice. Take the band off. We're going to go into some upper body. We're going to start with a push up. So from here, you can go onto your knees. Or you can do a full push-up, but I do want you to do narrow arms. So with your hands, they're going to be directly under your shoulders, and you're going to graze your elbows with your ribs. Graze your ribs with your elbows, other way. So let's go. We're going to go for 30 seconds. Shoulders down and back. Back nice and flat, tummy pulled in. Squeeze your bottom. Let's go. Down and up. Squeeze that bottom. Make sure you're not arching your back. You want to tuck your bum under. Graze the ribs on your elbows. Make sure as you go, your elbows graze your ribs. This is tucked in. Very nice. We've got 10 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Breathe out as you lift up. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come onto your bottom. We're going to do tricep dips. So from here, feet in front of you, hands behind you. You're going to lift your hips up. From here, keep the weight on your heels. Lift your toes up. And you're going to bend the elbows up and down. This isn't about dropping your bottom up and down. It's about getting the elbows bending backwards. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. Have a nice long neck. I want you to grow tall from your neck. Don't let your neck sink into your shoulders. Bending the elbows. Tummy pulled in, tilt that pelvis. Nice, and squeeze. We've got 10 seconds. Woo. Dropping those elbows back. We've got five, three, two, one. Very nice. Coming into a plank. You can go on in a half plank if you want to. We're doing the commando. So from here, I'll show you in a full plank. We're going to go up, up, down, down. So we're going from a plank up to a full arm, change sides. I would do it on your knees to start because you want to make sure you keep this pelvis tucked under. So back nice and flat. And we're going to go for 30 seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Up, up, down, down. Change sides. Make sure you're not arching your back. Very nice. Keep the tummy pulled in. Up, up. Down, down. Nice. You can be on your knees. If you're on your knees, make sure your stomach is pulled in. Your back is nice and flat. Shoulders directly under your hands. Other way around. Tummy pulled in. We've got five seconds. Three, two, one. Very nice. Come and lie on your left side. We're going to do left side line triceps. So, we're really killing our arms today. Lying on your left side. Wrap your left arm around your ribs. Hand on the floor in front of you. Squeeze your inner thighs. Pull your belly button in. And let's go. We're going to go for 10. Breathing out as you lift. And down. That's it. Try and keep your legs squeezing together. Tummy pulled in. Nice. Five. Don't relax completely at the bottom. You don't want to 
Beauty, relax. Keep the tension in this arm. Three, two, last one. Oh, well done. Let's change sides. We're nearly there, guys. Last arm exercise, and then we're going to do a bit of abs, and then we kill it. Right, on your right side. Right hand wrapped around your ribs. Legs squeezed together, hand on the floor. And let's go, breathing out to lift. Tummy pulled in, we're going for 10. Squeeze your abs in. Breathing out as you're pushing up. Nice. Five. Squeeze those inner thighs, try and keep your feet on the floor. Three more. Extend that arm. Two. One. Very nice. Come lie on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. We're going to do a little bit more abs. And then we're done. So from here, legs up to the ceiling. Hands by your side or behind your head. Whichever you prefer. And we're going to do our reverse crunch. Breathing out to lift. Let's go. Good. Little movement. We're not rocking forward and back. You just think of a little, little pulse. Nice. Squeeze. We've got 10 more. Tummy pulled in. Breathing out as you lift. Squeeze. Five. Four. Three. Two. Use the low abs. One. Very nice. Legs straight. Lift your head, your shoulders. And we're going to drop one leg down and change. If you need to keep your knees slightly bent when they're up at the top, you can. But when it's down at the bottom, it must be dead straight. Pull that kneecap up. Nice. Change as you breathe out. Five. Four. Tummy pulled in. Three. Don't arch your back. Two. One. Very nice. Feet on the floor. Opening your knees. Have your feet together, knees open. And we're going to do our froggy sit up. So either you're going to crunch, chin onto your chest, crunching up and down, or we're going to come up the whole way. Hands in front of you, rolling up and down. Let's go. Breathing out as you're curling up. Tummy pulled in. You can crunch. That's it. Breathing out and tummy pulled in all the way. Make sure, if you're coming up, you're not holding onto your legs. Use that breath to help you roll through your spine. Pulling in those abs. We've got five more. Really use that breath to help you come up. Tummy in. Good job. We've got three more. And then we're done. Last two. Really squeeze those feet together using those abs. Last one. And curling down. Well done. Hug those knees to your chest. And rock side to side. Beautiful work. Very nice. Pop your feet on the floor, knees bent. Hands out to the side. You're going to take your right ankle. Cross it over your left knee. And let's pull those knees down to the right side. That's it. Try and get your knees down onto the floor. And now look at your left hand. Stretch it away from you. Here you get a nice stretch all in the spiral line. Beautiful. And breathe. Use that breath to sink into the stretch more. Nice. Bring those knees back up. Keep that same ankle. Don't change legs. And you're going to roll them over to the other side. So now I'm taking my knees over to the left side. Try and get that top knee down onto the floor if you can. You can use your hand to help it. And stretch that arm away. Beautiful. Nice stretch. And coming up. Good. Other side. There we go. Take your left ankle, put it onto your right knee. 
And you're going to take your knees down to the left side first. And stretching them down. Reach out and look at your right hand. Beautiful, stretching. And coming back up, take the knees down to the right side. And stretch. Look at that left hand. Very nice. Bring the knees back into the middle. Rock side to side. And curling up. Whew. Well done, guys. That was a great